But tonight, at least one driver says that police may have been part of the problem. It all started with a wreck on LBJ and ended with cars facing in every direction. J.D. Miles is live along 635 in Skillman, where all of this played out this afternoon. J.D. Well, Karen, this is what 635 Eastbound is supposed to look like. But between the hours of 1 and 3 this afternoon, what's being described as a traffic apocalypse led to a strange sight on Dallas's busiest freeway. For the most part, initially, we were all patient, but then you could tell everybody was getting irritated. You know, you had to... Mike Brown described the scene by phone after he was stuck in his truck for more than an hour in a traffic jam on 635. An accident at Audelia led Dallas police to shut down the eastbound lanes. At one point, some drivers began to turn around and head in the opposite direction. Brown and other drivers insist it wasn't frustration that created the chaotic scene, but rather officers who directed them to violate the traffic laws. And we noticed that there was an 18-wheeler coming down toward us, so then another police officer came and told us to turn around again, but then everybody was turning around to go back east on 635. So it was just total chaos. Yes, it was a police officer. His cruiser was stopped in the HOV lane, and then it was another officer walking down the middle of the four-way lane, and he was motioning for the drivers to turn around. Now, Dallas police still haven't responded to those claims by motorists. We don't know yet about injuries from the accident, but fortunately, no one was injured in the big mess behind it. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. Thank you, J.D. The Internet did light up with some stunned and sometimes snarky comments. Bobby Aftahi tweeted, this is why we can't have nice things. On Facebook, Rodney Phillips writes, people all over are laughing at us already because people around here can't drive in bad weather. What will they think now? It's 85 degrees. To get in on the conversation, go to the CBS DFW Facebook page or follow us on Twitter at CBS DFW.